Hey guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another plan with me video and this one's going to be a little bit different. First of all, clearly this one is not voiced over and second of all, this one is not going to be in a like large planner like an Erin Condren or a happy planner. This one's actually going to be a vertical spread. So, sorry, a personal spread. So I've been posting a lot of these, well, not a lot, but the last few weeks I've been doing these um, like vertical personal spreads on just grid paper. And I've had some of you ask me um, how I do them or like how I lay them out or just to show me planning one of them. So I thought I'd do that for you guys today. So clearly this is how it starts out and I mean, it turns out like this. Like I didn't think it was too hard, but I mean, some of you guys wanted to see it. So I had absolutely no problem doing that for you guys. Um, and I thought I should mention that I like put this in the in the description of the photos, but I usually use leftovers of kits in these spreads because I don't really need much in them. Like as long as I have a few half boxes, some washi, like usually I can pull things in um, and get like one of these full spreads. And the only thing I will say is that I always use date covers. Um, and usually like meal things at the bottom just so that I can separate specific days um, Yeah, like into the days themselves. So uh, As you guys probably saw in a different plan with me. I posted one and it was Let me show you you guys probably saw it last week. Um, I used the parallax paper um, Parallax paper is that just the name? Yeah. So I used this kit and I had a bunch of leftovers so I thought I'd do a personal spread with it. So there was just some things left on this freebie. Um, just the, uh, what is this, a weekly checklist or a weekly box, some half boxes, some things left on the functional sheet, a ton of things here, some ombre heart checklists, and quite a bit of washi actually. So this is honestly more than enough. The only things I did have to pull are a weekend banner and I thought this one like matched well enough. I don't always put a weekend banner but I have if I have one that matches I'll try to include it and then date covers and then these are from my shop and I actually went ahead and already put the numbers. I was missing a 24 and I was too lazy to make myself some so once I do I will add that 24 but it was fine. I didn't really need it. It wasn't like necessary for now. Um, yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these and I'm going to start lining things up. Oh, sorry, I don't need this one. I don't know what I was doing there. So I'll set this aside. So uh, this, is the, this is the paper that came with the Recollections Planner. And it's like really nice and thick and I like it so I don't mind doing my spreads on it. So I'm just going to start by putting the side washi. Um, and then I'm just going to trim off the sides and I will be right back. So as you can see, I put the side washi there and I'm going to go ahead and hole punch these later. It's not really necessary right now, so I'm going to leave it like this for now. So the next thing I'm going to do is put the date covers down. And the first time I did this, I kind of had to play around with it and see um, where I wanted it specifically, like where I, how far I wanted them apart. And I mean, each one is going to be different because maybe the grid is going to be printed a little bit differently. Maybe they're slightly bigger, but slightly sw smaller. Um, but once you do it the first time, it's kind of easier because I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the second I lift this, I can see the previous week. So if I lift this, I can see that the date cover from last week was right here, right? So I know to put it there and they should take up uh, the same amount of space just because um, I am using the same day covers and like I mentioned they're from my shop this is like the pink sheet I believe and it does go over um, onto the washi a bit but I'm not too upset about that that doesn't really bother me I guess last week I did the date covers first because um, they don't go over but that doesn't bother me too much I don't mind um, so then I'm gonna go ahead and put down Tuesday and again I'm going to do the little lift and see where it was last week. Um, so I guess it was here and I went ahead and actually put all the days one like grid box apart so I know exactly once Tuesday is here I know Wednesday goes down here and then again on to Thursday. Um, how did I do Thursday? I think I know that Thursday 
Um, I, I look at it this way and I see that there's one here and then a bit and I remember that it would have gone over a bit if that makes sense. Um, and then Friday, like I said, I didn't have the 24 number yet, but that's okay. Once I grab it from downstairs, um, I will add that. Ooh, Thursday is super crooked. <laughs> Let's fix that. Okay, and then again, uh, I can. T I'm like lining the two sheets up to see that these will be like right here on the same line. And I mean, if I were to do this again, I guess I would. I kind of didn't realize that I usually put the date covers down um, because they are on top of the washi. So if that bothers you, definitely go ahead and do the date covers first and then move the washi a little bit to the side and then you can trim off the side. But I mean, I've already laid it down, so I'm not too upset about it. And if you are worried about putting the date covers when you do this, um, on where the holes are, definitely punch it first, but because I kind of already know uh, where I can put the day covers, I wasn't too concerned about that. So the next thing I do is I usually, uh, like I said, I take meal icons just so that I can put it at the bottom of the day so I know where the day ends. Um, and the way I've been doing it is that I, again, put it one uh, square away from the day cover so for example this is one away does that make sense like one on top and let me fix that I keep putting these down super crooked i feel like whenever i film i always put things down so crookedly i'm like struggling and then again for tuesday i just line it up with the day cover and then i line this one up with the previous one let's see um, and I actually used one of the meal icons in my spread, so I do have one less, but that's totally fine. I'm just going to use like an asterisk um, on Sunday. That doesn't bother me. Like, I don't really mind. I do usually prefer... Oh, wow. That was not right. <laughs> I do prefer to... Like, I'll usually leave all the meal icons if I know I'm going to have a lot of leftovers so that I can do one of these spreads. But I kind of wasn't thinking that I'd have much left, so I went ahead and used it, but that's okay. Um, and then, like I said, I guess I'll just use one of these asterisks for Sunday's meal. That's not very straight. Okay, so then that's that. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab this weekly box see and I usually line that up with the bottom of Monday or again that's going to be one square away from Tuesday on top of Tuesday I should say and I just try to line that up as straight as I can um, and let's see what do we want to do I mean I usually do my Instagrams so hmm, maybe I'll take a heart and I can write Instagram in myself because the only um, headers that are left are like school, dinner, work, and next week. And none of those really apply for what I like to use that for. Um, and then lastly, in like my sidebar area, I feel like on the freebie I had an extra... Oh yeah, okay. Perfect. So I have this habit tracker, which I'm just going to go ahead and place right here and that's gonna complete my sidebar pretty much so that's kind of the base layout of these spreads that I do um, I'm hoping this is helpful I hope I'm explaining this well and then the next thing I would usually do is I take the weekend banner and this one is kind of large I usually try to not use ones that are this big because obviously the days here are tiny already so um, yeah but I don't know, I just, I love weekend banners, so anytime I get to use them, I definitely will. And I mean, it's not a perfect match, like, it's not perfect, but that's okay. I don't really mind too much. Okay, so then, so I think I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to film Monday and Tuesday, or maybe I'll film this in different sections, because today is only Wednesday, 
Um, and again, like most of the things I like to film are post-planned. So I was going to wait until the end of the week to film this, but I thought I'd be sitting here for so long just talking that it would just be kind of exhausting. And I thought the video would get kind of boring by the end because I'd be tired. Um, so I thought I'd film this in portions, so I hope you guys don't mind. I do definitely prefer doing that because I get kind of tired of filming eventually. So then Monday, I'm just going to put one of these little things right here. Perfect. And then what else did I do on Monday? I also went to a dance class, and for that... See, the problem with me filming not plan as I go is I sit here and like think about what I'm going to put down for so long. So that's why I usually film plan as I go spreads, but that's okay. I hope this is fine. Yeah, I'm actually kind of bothered by the fact that the washi is like overlapping. So I definitely wouldn't do that next week, but I don't know. I guess I was put under pressure. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, okay, so then I'm just putting this page flag down to say that I went to a dance class and I don't have any icons So I'm just gonna write it down here. Like I don't even have any icons that work. Yeah, no So then let's see what else can we put down? I also got milkshakes on What day is that? That's Monday. So um, I have been saying I'm gonna post a video on this for so long, but this is where I store all my stickers. You guys don't really see this in videos usually, um, just because I do it like at the side. Um, but yeah, this is where I store. So this is like my food and I don't really know my food, I guess, and drinks. So I'm going to use this like smoothie. I didn't have a smoothie, but I did have a strawberry milkshake. So um, I feel like it's similar enough and it doesn't match perfectly, but you know gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> um, and then what else did I do on Monday um, I did a lot of like Etsy stuff but that was in my to-do list and um, yeah I don't think I'm gonna include that so I think I'm just gonna put down a piece of washi and I feel like one this size will be pretty good so let's twist this a little so there we go um, oh wow, okay, I'm messing up. I keep forgetting that this washi is like not cooperating this week. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so that's Monday. I feel like Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday are going to be a little bit annoying for me um, to do, but then Tuesday and the other days will be fine. Um, so then yesterday, which was Tuesday, what did I do? I The last thing I did was I went to the mall. That was like in the evening. So I think I'm going to put the half box. And I only have one other half box. So I kind of try to not waste them. But I mean, that's okay. I feel like that was... I didn't really do much else that was very interesting. So I feel like that's okay to use. Um, and then I also had... I went to this like cafe that's called Aroma. I don't know if you guys have it where you're from, but they have these really awesome drinks. So um, yeah, it's kind of like a coffee, like a frap, I guess, but I don't know. They call it an ice aroma and it's so good. Yeah, I love it. Uh, let's see if I can put anything under that just because I feel like it looks a little bit plain on its own. So maybe I'll take... Hmm, I can take maybe like a TV little thing and I will flip that or no, I won't. I lied. I won't flip that. So I'm just going to put that down and cover the TV with this little frap. And I should mention that this little frap is from uh, the sticker party. She used to be called Abundance of Erica and now she's the sticker party. So I don't really know if um, she still has these in her shop. I did get them a long time ago, but you guys can definitely um, check it out. And then, sorry, just I'm going to skip over to Wednesday. I'm going to use this little suitcase before I forget because my brother is coming back home today and he said he's going to be here like closer to the evening. So 
I'll push it down towards the bottom. I usually try to do these kinds of spreads like in chronological order as much as I can. Um, but yeah, like if it doesn't work out perfectly, that's totally fine. Um, and then this morning I had some cut mats come in. So I'm going to be using this. And I always have a ton of like little things left because I don't really use them in my main spreads too much. So I love using them in here. I kind of use them as appointment labels and I think they work out really well. Um, and the last thing on Tuesday, again, I didn't really do too much. I guess I could actually put down um, a nail polish sticker because I did do that. I did paint my nails. They're already kind of messed up, but I did it like super quick. So <laughs> I guess I might have to fix them again today, but that's okay. Let's see. So um, which ones do I want to use? Do I want to use some from my shop? Maybe I can use like this cute little pink one. And these nail polish stickers are from my shop and they are still up. This was like one of the first things that I like came out with from my shop as like multicolored sheets. So I feel like that's pretty cute. Um, I have no more like teardrops or flags, which is kind of annoying. Um, I think I can layer with this. Would that be a little wacky? Um, yeah, it's a little wacky. So let's see if I can find, um, like a flag or a teardrop in my stash. Um, I definitely have some. The question is whether they'll match or not. So I'm thinking, well, no, I can't really do that. Those won't work. And those were from leftover from planning in mint. And then this is like my leftover flags sheet. I do this with teardrops as well and like most stickers. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use this flag that I've had for so long. And it's from a kit from Two Little Bees from like May 2016, I think. I've seriously had it for forever. Um, so I'm glad I'm finally getting around to using it. But it was so pretty, so I definitely like couldn't get rid of it and just throw it out. And this is kind of in my way, so I'm going to go ahead and push it down a little bit. Just because I don't want them to be like touching, so... Let's do this and then I'll put these two, sorry, this little like little thing in between, line it up like that. Um, and then I'm just gonna, should I put the nail polish on top of here? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put the nail polish on top of the flag and then I'm gonna go ahead and write um, paint nails. Uh, I'm act I actually think I'm gonna finish up Wednesday just because I feel like I know what I've done today and today's like almost done so I don't really mind. So I'm going to put down a heart for whatever it is that I do this evening. Um, that's perfect. I'm going to put this back here for my brother like I said. I'm going to put it on a slight slant, very slight. And then I think I'm going to use one of these ombre checklists with my X-Acto knife. And let me grab my Erin Condren ruler back here. And I'm just going to line it up on top of the stitches because I don't really want just the stitches in it. And then I'm gonna try to trim this. Let's see if that works. Sometimes I push too hard. Sometimes I don't push hard enough. Yeah, this was like, well, it's not bad. So we're just going to put this. Ooh, that is very crooked. I'm going to try to trim it a bit off. The stitching is still in there, but you know what? It's not too noticeable. I don't really mind. So I'm just going to put this down here. And then I'm just going to fill this all out and I will be right back. So I did actually go ahead and fill everything out and I changed up a few things. Um, I used the Pilot G2 pen in 0 0.5 and this pen is gonna die out. As you guys can see, it's like already empty. Um, and then what did I do? So I changed the flag up here with the milkshake just because I did say I like to do these chronologi chronologically and I did do this first. I don't know why I mixed it up before. Um, and then I did add this little sticker, which is from my shop as well. It's like the Disney Minnie and Mickey sheet. Um, and like I said, I left this blank for whatever I'm going to do tonight. Uh, so I will be back probably sometime later this week or at the beginning of next week to do this side. 
So I'm back today to film the second part of this um, grid papered personal spread. So I'm just going to jump right into it and honestly it's kind of been a, like a while since I filmed that first half so I don't exactly remember what I was saying in it. And uh, this week is like long gone now, it's currently like the next week so I'm going to be kind of jumping around uh, when, I, when I'm like putting things down now. Um, so like I mentioned, I'm going to be jumping around, so the first thing I'm going to put down is that I had a movie night on Saturday with my family, actually. Um, that was really fun, and then on, and I actually had a movie night on Friday as well. Ooh, that's hard. Actually, I actually think I'm going to put the movie night sticker on Friday. Yeah, and I'm going to maybe see if I can have some washi under it. Um, because on Friday I actually went to the theater, whereas on Saturday it was just like a movie night in. So I feel like this, or maybe, maybe for this I should put a movie marquee, right? Like what if I used like this sticker? Yeah, okay. Never mind. So I'm, okay, so this is what happens when I plan on my own and then I feel like it looks insane when I'm, when I'm, uh, filming. So I'm just going to put this washi right along the little meal sticker and also as the week went on I was filling out um, what I ate that day just because I didn't want to like forget and clearly I forgot Sunday. I don't remember what I ate Sunday but I'll try to figure it out based on what my planner says. Um, so then yeah, Friday was like movie date night. Let's see if I can get this on straight would be fantastic. And I should mention that this movie marquee that I'm putting down right now is uh, a leftover from Planner Sister Stickers, whereas this movie marquee, or this is not a movie marquee, this is just like a movie night sticker. Um, this one is from the kit that came, sorry, it came with the kit from Parallax Paper. Um, and then I'm just going to use this last half box to put it down on Sunday. And I'm going to put a little thing on top of it. The TV little thing, because I actually went to get bubble tea. Well, the movie, sorry, the TV is for, is for Gilmore Girls, and then this is for bubble tea. Let's see if I can fit like a cute little washi strip on top. Is that too little? That might be too little. Let's see. Uh, it's okay, actually. We're going to go with it. And then let's see if I can find a bubble tea sticker. So the bubble tea stickers are going to be coming to my shop. This was just a test print and I found that these were like a little bit too big for my liking. So I kind of just took them for myself. Um, but when they are in the shop, they will be smaller than this because this is like larger than a half box and I don't know, I just, I feel like they're too big. But for myself, I don't really mind. Like I just wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't prefer it. So let's fill this in for now. Um, actually, never mind. I lied. I'm going to do that at the end. Um, so then on, on Thursday, my plan with me ended up going up instead of on Wednesday, which is never fun, but sometimes it happens. Like the uploading speed at my house is insanely slow. So sometimes like I'll try to, um, post the video but then if it doesn't end up going up uh, like I have to wait until the following night like sometimes it just stops midway um, and I won't notice until I wake up in the morning and I can only upload them at night otherwise my entire like internet bandwidth is that what it's called honestly I don't know why I said that I have no idea what that means um, but it just crashes like completely so I have to wait so I'm sorry if that's kind of annoying sometimes but I gotta do it and so let's see on Friday I also had a quiz due so I'm gonna put that up here it was like an online chemistry quiz that we have to do every few weeks um, Thursday I ended up going bowling with my friends so I'm thinking what I should use for that maybe I can see if I can find like some sort of quarter box and this is like this is the file folder or the accordion file that I keep like a lot of my um, more functional stickers so like I'll have quarter boxes in here and um, what else do I have in here just like a bunch of good stuff you know um, 
yeah, like half boxes I have in there, glitter headers, like maybe you saw some of those. Is this too small to mark it? Now we're gonna go with it. I feel like this is definitely big enough. So the planner is for my plan with me. This is for bowling. And then I need like a little, a little washi strip to write down that I went to Starbucks with my friend Sarah. Is this big enough? Hmm. Gosh, I don't know how to line this up. This is so difficult. Okay, maybe I'll do something like, no, that's not enough. Not enough space that it takes up. Okay, I'm gonna do this as well as this washi strip. I'm gonna kind of overlap them a little bit um, just so that it doesn't go on top of the planner. And then I'm gonna go into my collection and find a coffee sticker. Um, I'm gonna probably use one of these from my shop. And those are just like the to-go like coffee cups that I have up. So I don't know if I like this layering of washi. I'm not a fan to be honest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this piece out and say screw it. And maybe I'll try to move like this up a little bit, this like bowling sticker. Let's see if I can get this a little bit higher. Um, as well as this and then maybe I can like scoot the planner down a little bit. I feel like that would be good, right? Um, Cause I guess it's like really close to the date cover. So we'll just do that and then this is crooked. I really hope not. Okay, that looks pretty straight. And then we'll put this little coffee sticker for, this was supposed to be a study date, but that didn't end up happening. Um, we ended up studying like negatives, like literally didn't do anything. Um, and then what else? What else happened on Friday? Ooh, I went to McDonald's, which is, you know, always exciting. I feel like I should mark that down. I don't know what to put it on though. Um, okay, let's say for Saturday, we'll start with a little Etsy icon actually because I had my new releases go up and these are also from my shop. Does she have any flags or anything? No, I used all of them up. She did have them though. Um, let's see. So then we're done with these Etsy stickers and now I need some kind of like meal icon I guess. Uh, let's see if I had anything. Hmm, anything that matches? Like that's questionable. Maybe I'll just use one of these and yeah, okay, I feel like that's good. Um, so I think that's about it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and fill all of this out and I'll come back to show you guys what it looks like in the end. So yeah, I hope you guys like this. This is what the finished product looks like. Um, I went ahead and filled everything in. I still haven't gotten around to getting that 24, um, but that's okay. I finished filling in Wednesday, which I had from the last clip, as well as, like I said, this side. And I thought I'd just show you guys um, what I still have left. And oops, I just dropped one of these. Um, <laughs> I dropped the freebie. So this is what I have left on the freebie. It's like this little oops sticker, which honestly I'm not really sure what this was like meant for, but that's okay. There's this little heart and like the mailer sticker. I have a few washi strips, um, like basically all the headers and little things. And I think I'll keep these to use these. Like I can use these in a full spread. Um, then I have not too many things left on the functional sheet, just like this guy here and a few icons down here. And then I have like six of the ombre heart checklist as well as this little guy here. So yeah, there's still a lot left and clearly I've gotten two spreads out of this. Um, I can show you guys what the other one looked like, but I do have a plan with me up on uh, the full spread that I did on it. It went up last week, I believe, and it was a collab with uh, Parallax Paper, which is Kristen. So this is what the full spread looked like. Let me see if you guys can see that. Um, maybe that's a little bit better. So I got this whole spread as well as this one. So I feel like this kit is huge and yeah. So you guys can definitely check out Kristen's shop. I'll have it linked down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.